Number seven is, do I have a band? Well, that's a complicated question. <laughs> uh, I went. I play hockey a lot, and that's another one of my ho- uh, hobbies. And about five years ago, a uh, guy came in, a frequent guy came in, and he said, hey, does anyone play the drums in the dressing room? And I said, yeah, I do. And he goes, oh, I have a friend. You know, he, he plays bass. He wants to get in a band. So my friend Jim now, who plays bass, and I got together and we've recruited five or six bands <laughs> over the f- last five years. And curiously, every time we get successful, uh, the singer and the guitarist split. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with Jim and I, since we're pretty affable, easygoing guys. I think it's a question of um, people who are in their 40s, have wives who put pressure on them to get out of bands because that's an adolescent thing to do and they have jobs and kids and blah 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 so it's very hard to get a serious commitment out of people who are in the midst of their prime of their lives for something that's a part-time endeavor so yes I am in a band right now and we're in on Tuesday in two days we're going to basically audition a new guitarist and go on from there so we've had 10 different names i can't tell you what our name is going to be next uh it doesn't matter really we just play bars and we play classic rock and it's just to get our yayas out and have fun and feel the elation of 50 people yelling at us and having a few beers and getting paid you know it's fun again has nothing to do with working for a living. It's just something I do for fun. I like the fact that four or five of us can stand up there, in my case, sit and make music that sounds like the record. So that's why I do it. It's fun, and uh, it's just that. It's not a professional thing. I'm not a full-time musician or anything like that. So that's the question to that, or the answer. All right, so number eight is who are my influences? Well, you know, that's kind of a loaded question because I have seven or eight sections that I can divide that into, so I will do that. So first of all, my actual drummer influences that I can cite that when I heard them, I thought, well, I really want to do that. First of all, David Robinson from The Cars. Uh, I started buying um, albums in about 78, 79. The Cars had just come out. The Knack, Bruce Gary, was an amazing drummer for the time period. Just set the whole new wave kind of thing on fire for a brief period of time. Um, Ian Pace from Deep Purple. I love his drumming to this day just did things that were incredible and the the single stroke rolls of his drumming are just I I don't know how he did it just he can still do it actually <laughs> I, I probably what 63 64 however old he is incredible uh Nico McBrain from Iron Maiden just fantastic right foot right hand just amazing um fantastic technician even though he's a metal drummer and kind of was in a band that was at the forefront of this metal explosion in the early 80s, was a fantastic instrumentalist, along with Steve Harris and Adrian and Dave Murray. They just, they all four of them were virtuosos, and they came together serendipitously, you know, on uh, the Peace of Mind album, I guess it was. And from then on, I mean, I was already an Iron Maiden fan from the 666 album. But when I heard Nico playing, like, I still like Clive's playing, but Nico's is just, like, holy crap. He did things and still does things uh, with a single bass drum that I ha- I just haven't heard anybody else do other than John Bonham. Um, and he's even taken that to another level. And when you get into analyzing his stuff it's 
very difficult to duplicate what Nickel McBrain does and with such enthusiasm. And the guy is just a great guy to be around unless you're a security guard and, and you don't believe he's in the band. Um, but he's just... I've seen a clinic with him and he's just... He's hilarious and ebullient and technically gifted at the same time, which is very rare in a in a guy, in a drummer. And so anyway, Nico's good. Uh, John Bonham, of course. I love Zeppelin's songs. I love the musicality. I love uh, John's feel on the drums, how he incorporated. He was sort of a sort of like Mitch Mitchell, he was a sort of a crossing point from classical drumming into rock drumming. He took what he knew, which is tremendously skilled and and technique oriented, and he turned it into this incredibly groovy rock drumming and made it fit, you know. Uh Roger Taylor from Queen is just invented a whole kind of style of drumming no one else before or since has done what he did uh very bizarre but powerful and flamboyant at the same time um john panozzo or panozzo i'm not sure how you pronounce it from sticks was a trailblazer in his own flamboyant style uh with the big kit in the 70s uh playing incredibly melodic stuff on the drums and great ride patterns and da- dancing hi-hat patterns and stuff that everybody wanted to copy and did or didn't in <laughs> cases that, you know, failed. Um, even guys like uh, Mickey Curry, um, Myram Grombacher. Mickey Curry was with uh, Adam, Brian Adams. Iron Grombacher was Pat Benatar's drummer. Those guys all uh Matt Frenette from the uh from Loverboy. As a Canadian, I was exposed to all this stuff a lot more than Americans were because of the CanCon uh rules for radio. We heard a lot more Canadian music than you guys did. So uh you know, but all these guys influenced me because they were so musically oriented on the drums. They did musical stuff they didn't just play time they played a lot of big roles and and tried to incorporate the different notes of the toms and different instruments in so that they matched the music of the day and this is what neil did so well and still does so well and that's why rush is my favorite really because of what neil did to bring drummers even more to the forefront especially himself uh as such a incredible um musician not just a drummer but a composer especially it's not that neil's the best chopper or the best at anything uh it's that he thought to play that that's what makes him incredible and that's what makes all these guys that I've just mentioned incredible is that sure every you know you could name 20 guys that have better chops than them or better right foot or whatever except for Nico um but it's what they play you know it's what they think to play it's how they make stuff up it's what they invent it's their creativeness their creativity that sets them as really incredible artists and inspirations for me as a person who was you know 13 to 18 years old and I hadn't even started playing the drums but I sort of did because I always listened to the drums I always focused on the drums and that was my inspiration uh, for coming up 